Hello, and welcome to another episode of the <laughs> Face Podcast. <laughs> My name is Jeff Ramsey, and with me, as always, well, I got to be honest with you, it's the most talented <laughs> bunch of boys and girls in the whole podcasting oh, no. industry. Clearly, I'm talking about Andrew Panton from all the way up in Vancouver Island, Canada. Andrew, I have to ask you real fast: Are uh-huh. your ankles strong today? Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. How are your are you, are your teeth firm? Uh, teeth are fine. Well, yeah, they're okay. <laughs> knee is fucked, but we're fine. We're we're good. Oh, no. Well, maybe maybe we can get into the knee a little bit. But I gotta say, oh, we did the uh, Swiffer issue. Still recovering. But right, that's fine. right, right. So you're still just working through that. Well, I, I yep. hope uh, mm-hmm. I hope it's a swift recovery. Not to be uh, not to be funny there. Uh, Gavin, <laughs> uh, my best friend in the whole world, uh, Wonderkin filming extraordinaire you uh far more successful in your other career as a slow-mo guy how are you doing today man how, how you been firm teeth good good were you were there were your teeth in question <laughs> nope they were not on the injury report now here lately you haven't you haven't been sleeping well yeah there's nothing new there though i'm a i'm a shit sleeper hmm <laughs> well i'm sorry to hear that maybe have you ever tried uh, any homeopathic remedies uh, like huffing a bunch of shite, was it? Well, there's, there's probably a healthier way to to express that. But yeah, Melatonin, there, there might maybe? be some solutions you could look into. Maybe yoga, or maybe, uh, I know a lot of people find uh, they, the transcendental meditation helps them with their sleep. Uh, but it's not just you guys and me here. It's also Eric, uh, producer extraordinaire, uh, Nick and Gracie. Uh, you, you guys are, are somewhere back there in the weeds uh, making everything happen keeping us on our toes, Hi. as it were. Hello. How you doing today, Gracie? How's your, how's your dog? Uh, my dog is asleep on the wooden floor, but she did pee and poop in the kitchen this morning. Uh, that could be a sign of distress or illness. You want to take a... Uh, I think it's a sign of her losing bowel control at her old age. Oh, oh that's... No. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I must admit, I went through that tw- with two dogs recently. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. It's okay. She looks great doing it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm going to have you in my prayers. So I'm going to be thinking about you. You and the dog. Gracie's hey, dog is it's a model. stunning and perfect. Don't say anything about her. She's a model. She, she is. got tapped. She got tapped to be a model. Wow. wow. For what? Like a canine incontinence model or? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. She oh. modeled for a pet supplement brand. Did they oh, Photoshop wow. uh, Tim Allen's eyes on it? <laughs> No, she has pretty little eyes. <laughs> Non-human like eyes. Hey, hey, Nick, how's the Bambino? How's your family doing, man? Oh, they're doing What's great, happening? man. We're having a good time. I don't know, man, but I'm, I'm having a good time. I don't know what Jeff's doing. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so glad to hear that everybody seems to be doing well. Thriving and surviving, even though there's clearly some difficulties in all of our lives, you guys don't seem to be letting it get you down. And you're maintaining a positive How attitude. are you, Jeff? I want you to know I appreciate that. Well, I'm doing really well, too. Thanks for asking, Gavin. I, uh, I got no complaints, you know. I, uh, I have the new puppy myself, so that can be a little bit of a... A handful, but I'm working through it. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about today? I would just like to make a, an update for my introduction. I, I'd like to be referred to as the cock winner, Andrew Panton, from now. We can do that. Going we forward. Absolutely do my, that. The, the big cock win last week. Now, do it's you a want great to trophy. F- Thank you so much f- for that. Referred to as the Canadian cock winner? <laughs> Whatever, any variation, as long as it's included. Uh, the Vancouver cock winner? Oh. <laughs> Could be. Okay. I think it, it, it makes me uneasy that I never know what a recording is going to be like. Yeah? Well, let's get into that. What, <laughs> what, what do you think that comes from, Gavin? That's interesting. I think uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you say me in specific... Like, you never... Are you doing something? Oh, is it because we don't, we don't always go over notes ahead of time? To let we each never other know like what we said ahead of so <laughs> it, I agree. It is always a bit of a mystery what we're going to walk into, but that's I think that's part of the fun of the of what we do here, guys. Right, guys and girls. I would say it's more to do with the consistency of the people. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Why don't we peel back those layers a little bit? <laughs> well, I feel like my, I'm I'm single layered. Uh, I I enter pretty much the same every week. It's it's quite predictable. I think. And to you, you see value in predictability is what I'm surmising from that statement. Would that be, uh, would that be correct? I, I just want to be a, a reliable constant in the lives of my friends. Mm. Well, if that, is, if that is your stated goal, let me tell you, Gavin, you have hit a home run every day that we've been friends. You, <laughs> you definitely, you definitely uh, have achieved that. 
over and over and over again. A bastion of uh, of steadfastness is what I would I would refer to you as. Huh? <laughs> I can I can I talk about something or talk about uh, consistency and and all hey. that stuff and being a good friend? Because Gavin. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's my fault, but Gavin has been a consistent pain in my ass for like the last two and a half, three months, and he doesn't even know. Oh, he no. Is, he oh, put me no. in a nightmare of my own doing, Jeff. Oh, no. I'm so I sorry I don't to even remember. That. No, it's okay. It's fine. You don't need, that's a little much. It's okay. And then Gavin but doesn't know he's done this, right? He doesn't know. I bet you Gavin Ugh. has forgot that he's even done this to me. I bet Gavin's I, feeling really haven't. confused and guilty right now and doesn't know why. So let's get to the bottom of this so he doesn't have I to don't drag that feeling. I don't even out. remember wh- how it started, but I, I had the thought of, I wonder if I could find a place in Austin and if Gavin would be able to find it on Google. We're talking about Google Maps stuff at the oh, time. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I picked a random spot on Google Maps and sent it to Gavin be like, yeah, it's going to take him forever to find this. <laughs> and Gavin determined the location Within about ten minutes, maybe, and it well, turns out that the before. place, yeah, the place I had picked, Gavin had been to twice. It was a random coffee shop that I picked, <laughs> and he had been there on two separate occasions, and he instantly found one. And then he said to me, "Do you want one?" And I said, "Sure." You know, like I live in a much smaller place, so it'd be easier for me. So Gavin sent me a photo of a house. And I have not been able to find this fucking house for like three months now. And I've been roaming the streets in Google Maps. Sometimes I just go out for a drive and I just drive around seeing if I can because it's a very uh, noticeable house. It's, it's like I would recognize it's also, it immediately. The place you live, much smaller than Austin. So much smaller, as I said. It's a lot smaller of a community. So I thought, oh, whatever. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll do one and I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll recognize it. But the angle and everything he picked, it's so hard to tell. It looks like it could be so many places. Obviously not going to share a photo of this house, but I have been haunted by this stupid house that Gavin sent. And I thought that I would be the one making him on a chase for a while. It took him 10 minutes. I'm three months in, not any closer. Mm. I'm, mm. I'm nearing the point of having to make like a grid of the entire city and like marking off what streets <laughs> I've been on. Now, is this a single family home from what you can tell? Uh, two story. Like two story, story like, like a freestanding. Uh, yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. It it is it feels like something you should be able to remember or recognize and I have no idea where it is, but I've been I've been roaming the internet streets whenever I have free time looking for this house and it is so annoying that I haven't found it yet. I can understand how that'd be pretty perplexing. Uh Gavin, this house, it is it within the the confines of Vancouver Island. He oh, so big he's time. looking he's looking in the right place. He just it's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack it sounds like. But it shouldn't be. It should it's just like it's like a needle in a few strands of grass is more, I'd say, in the analogy. It's of- definitely harder because I just picked some house, uh, which is definitely a place you wouldn't have been unless I got really lucky. Whereas yeah. you, you, you gave me a much more easy one because I could tell by the sort of the look of it that it was pretty modern in Austin. And, uh, and then I realized I'd been there. And, I, and then I think I sent you a picture of me and Trevor there. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. It's, it was annoying. Do you and remember- I felt like you had done a magic trick. How cool would it be if you sent Gavin a picture of you and Trevor at this house? <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be a move. Something to shoot for, huh? Think about for sure. Andrew, do you remember when uh, I exported that fruit throwing video for you without audio, and then I exported my next actual video? <laughs> yes, and yeah, I didn't have audio. audio. Do you remember the Do you remember the text I sent you? No. I feel well, like we go text. over that text every episode. I'm surprised you don't remember it. <laughs> Well, I sent you a text, well, and you, okay. you thought I was talking about something else. What did I think you were talking about? Uh, well, I was hoping you would remember, to be honest. Let me go back to the message. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. You don't remember when I said, like, you've screwed me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I know what we're talking about now. Yeah. What did you and I, think I was talking about? Uh, well, we were... <laughs> did, did it ever come into play, Gracie, what I was talking about? Damn, Grace. Because there was a this? possibility. What? The remember the uh, the the thing I dictated for a, a shoot? long time ago. Yeah, did that ever happen? Because there was a possibility on the second day that they could have arrived, and that's the last I, I heard about it. Wait, I need you to 
Slack me the okay. secret. I'm, I'm <laughs> well, I'm just, we're going to skip this part. I'll just go right into it. So Listen. we did, you guys did Does It Do? And it was yeah. sponsored by Shady yeah. Rays. Uh-huh. And at the time... Oh, oh, I found it. I found the message. <laughs> yeah. I thought, because you said you fucked me. Yeah. And you said, you look like the coolest kid in third grade. Yes. Cause, then, like uh, an hour later, <laughs> you said, wait, what do you think I did? And I explained what I was talking about. And, and I, you said, disregard my original response <laughs> yeah. to this conversation. Okay. And I realized now I, I never followed up on what the goddamn you were talking about. <laughs> Now I know what you're talking about, and Andrew, it it didn't end up happening. Oh, that's sad. That's too bad. So Shady Race, kind enough to sponsor Does It Do, and uh, it was you two were asked what sunglasses you would like to wear during the video to to do it, but I think it was around the time of your wedding, Jeff, so neither of you were around, and I said, (laughs) if they don't answer you, I will do this. I'll, I'll, I'll pick for them, and so I picked... You were really cool. I think it was like the Falcon or something, Jeff. I picked you some cool pair of glasses. And then I picked Gavin something that reminded me of like what I would have thought was really cool in third grade and looked ridiculous. And you sent me without context the day of the first shoot. You (laughs) fucked me, which perfectly aligned with what I was going for, because I just thought even though they're a great looking pair of sunglasses, they would not, I think, fit with your personality or look at all. Uh, so that's what I thought you were talking about. And then I messaged Gracie about it and, and she let me know that the sunglasses didn't actually arrive that I picked, that you're using different ones. So in which case I had no idea. Then I had to circle back to you to figure out what I had done to you, which I still don't uh, think was really my fault. Woo. Uh, that's a no. big kerfuffle guys. Uh, I think we straighten it out. I'm glad we got, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. <laughs> the pair of glasses that Emily took the other day after the break show were one of the pairs. Those pair. I assumed. Yeah. I assumed that that's what they were when she took them. Look good on her, though. I guess Emily say. looked cool as fuck with those sunglasses. <laughs> those things were rad as shit. They were great. Hell yeah. That's a lot of expletives from Eric, but you can tell he means what he's saying. You gotta appreciate that. Goddamn right. Yeah. All right, I like Nick chiming in. And so does the another... audience, Nick. You're very. You're a. You're an audience favorite, and clearly for good reason. That's wow. that's awesome. Let's take a quick Thank poll. You. Of uh, all the talent on the show, real quick. Um, just, I have a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, one, does anyone think that uh, uh, Nick has worn the mask so far this year? No. I don't think so. Okay. No. Uh, second question. How are we feeling about uh, the Jeff in this episode? Um, it was, it's weird because it was pretty normal about 25 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> It is a dramatic, we just recorded a bunch of stuff, and Jeff, the tone has shifted in the past, which I, I really am wondering if something happened in the 15 minutes between when we stopped and started this, where Jeff was alone, um, or if this is a calculated move going into this episode. Now, is that, uh, is that just uh, thrown out to the group <laughs> as a whole, or would you like me to, to address that? I feel like that was more pointed at you. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I'm being completely honest with you, Andrew, and I, and I try to be at all opportunity. Uh, I'm trying to be honest with myself, try to be honest with everybody. I think it's a, you know, it's an important trait in a human being to have. Uh, I, uh, I don't, I guess I don't know what you mean. Uh, if there's a difference in tone or a shift, I, th- I would personally attribute it to the fact that the previous content we were filming was video game content. And then this is podcast content. And so maybe, maybe there's some sort of a, maybe, maybe there's something in me that I don't even recognize that's unconscious where I, I, I switch roles slightly or, or maybe I just uh, have. I there's been a slight shift in gear, I think. Well, but I'm not looking at anything. I'm just like using my mind, theater of the mind, right? That's what we always say about the yeah, this, absolutely. This podcast. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I guess I don't, I guess I just, I guess I'm not aware of it if it's there. Yeah, I would say it's, uh, you've shifted down it to use truck, the trucks oh. terminology. I think you're getting out of the mud. Is what Man, it sounds like. To me. Speaking of getting out of the mud, can I tell you guys? I played trucks last night for a couple hours. It was the first time we'd played in over a week. It, uh, it, we, we just hadn't been able to sync up and get together in a while, and then it wasn't working. It was, it was real bad the last few times we tried. But with the new DLC coming out, I thought, let's give it a shot. You know, let's give it the old college try. Even though I didn't really go to college, and uh, <laughs> and it was working. It worked great, and we played for hours and hours last night. And I got so stuck in the mud, and I got so unstuck in the mud, and we did a bunch of missions, and it was just a great time. Just a great time. Really happy that I got to do it. You guys been playing any fun video games lately? 
it's funny that you you mentioned that, Jeff. There is a, a certain video game that is huge right now called Pal World. Oh Everybody's playing Pal World. It's all over the place. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. And one of the main reasons I haven't played it yet, despite almost everybody I know playing it, is you brought up in our group text maybe a week ago at this point. Mm. Has anyone here played Pal World? To which Gavin and I said, no. And then you replied to that by saying, maybe don't. Maybe it's a great first impression video. So despite everybody I know playing Pal World, I decided I'm not going to play with my friends outside of the recordings or anything. I'm just this is I'm going to oh. save it because Jeff thinks it would be a great first impressions video. And then well, we synced up this morning to record content. And immediately I hear from Jeff about all of the countless hours of Pal World he's been playing <laughs> and that well, he can't yeah. get enough of it. And we need to get in on this. And I quietly went, you son of a bitch. I have not been playing it because of your suggestion of it being a first few. And all you're doing is playing Pal World at the moment. Okay, well, first of all, if you'd allow me uh, the space to respond. Of course. Uh, I, pre I, and I appreciate you giving me the space. Um, <sighs> I, uh, oh, Gavin, hold on. That, that, listen, it's just it's my space right now. You'll, we'll give you all the space in the world when it's your, when it's your time. I think that's only fair. Uh, I, I got I to gotta be honest with you. I feel, I feel a little bit of ire from you, and, and that, that has my hackles up a bit, and I'm trying, I'm trying not to, to let that get the better of me, but uh, I... I guess I, I guess I would say I stand by what I said in that I always find the best kind of content is when we can discover something for the first time on camera. It always uh, creates the best possibility, as it were. Now, I didn't mean please don't play the game for the next week. I just meant if you guys haven't played it already, let's get in there and film a video uh, whenever is convenient for y'all so that we can capture that first moment because I think it could be magical, right? And then I've been playing... Point? Yeah, I've been playing, and I have been playing, and I'll continue to play, and here's why. Because I need to be a, a, a good steward in this game. I need to be able <laughs> to lead you guys through it and understand. Imagine if we all were confused about trucks. Nobody would get anywhere. I had to put a couple hundred hours into trucks so that I could understand how to present it to you guys and how to help you along. And so I, I was kind of approaching Pal World in the same way. Uh, but if by all means, if you would like to play it on your own uh, outside no, of videos, I, I'm not trying to hold you back we, you know, I didn't, at all. I would love, but I would love to play it with you. You guys are my best friends in the whole world, and I would love to play uh, my current obsession with you guys at, at all the time, if possible. In your defense, I went back and I looked at the text, and you never stated that you hadn't played it before. I just <laughs> made that assumption, uh, which I and I thought it was just very funny because I've been actively avoiding. Oh, you it, assumed? Yeah, then, I didn't realize you assumed. Yeah, I didn't play that's then, you no, know that's, what? That's like that's, a, hey, that's, that's a lack of communication on my part. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna put a pin in that. And I'm going to work on that in the future. That's something that I can do to improve our relationship. I'm really excited for when we get the trucks, too, because I've been playing a lot of trucks and I am I'm out of the mud now. I think it's going to the the jump in my truck ability from video two to video three is is vast. I'm ready for it. Uh, I got to I can't go any further with this dumb thing. I got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I wore myself out. No, I appreciate okay. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did as as I, I did it as fucking long as I could, but it's I like, it's, was I'm losing life so much to j pay attention to it. <laughs> it was like, oh. I don't know. I feel like if I was lying, if I was horizontal, I would have fallen asleep. Once I fucking started, I couldn't stop, and then I could tell. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing: it was I appreciated everybody rolling with it, and it was getting under Gavin's skin, and that just kept it going. I couldn't stop because of Gavin. Like every time, every time I got close to winding down, he would sigh or go, like, yep. and then I was like ah you just bought another five minutes you little shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. i didn't uh, know what was happening but i know you so i was like i just can't react negatively to this in any way it'll eventually this is going to change the tide will turn that sigh must have been completely invo <laughs> involuntary because it just flew out of me <laughs> <laughs> i was like how much of the episode is gonna burn for this bit <laughs> i wanted to see if i could present a kinder softer <laughs> gentler, <laughs> more inclusive uh, environment for us to, to play in. And I see now that that has no business here. Well, that's just not who we are. It's just not who well, we are. It, I think that the energy was more the issue. I don't think it was was the, the, the tone. It was the pacing. It was your verbal pacing. It was I'm throwing me off. To, I was just trying to keep everybody chill. I'm impressed with Andrew and his ability to roll with that for so long. 
Yeah, I, me too. <laughs> I was locked Dude, I'm in. I'm impressed to with go my ability out. to roll with that for that long. That was no, cool. you could you could have no. you could have done yeah. that for four hours. Yeah. Andrew kept going as though you were being a, a normal human. <laughs> Gavin's right, hundred <laughs> percent. I don't think I could have kept that going for four hours. That's pretty. I was killing. Me. <laughs> was, yeah, was I kept it going all as around. long as I physically could. Oh, and I think man. that that was a great depiction of who you are, Jeff, of you were doing this <laughs> bit that you don't even really find funny anymore, but you're you're annoying Gavin and that brings <laughs> you joy. And so you do it for almost 20 minutes because Gavin is so irritated. By that it. was like a Cold War. It yeah. was. In podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a civil Cold War. I hate myself so much sometimes. I've done so much work not to hate myself <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, like getting over the alcohol and all that and like learning to like myself and all the therapy and shit. But mm-hmm. there are moments when I get stuck in like, and Eric, I'll speak in terms you can understand. I get stuck in my like bingey stick coma and I just, I can't find a way out. I just won't, my, like my brain won't let me. And then I just, I fucking hate myself, but I can't do anything about it when you started it at the top of the episode i went well he didn't have this planned but he just found this so i guess we're gonna see how long it goes for and it went roughly 20 minutes i didn't have a planned at all it's just how my it's just yeah i just noticed i was kind of chill so i just thought fuck <laughs> I, I was trying to picture like i was trying to figure out who wronged you between it between recording but you did, didn't go anywhere i don't think so i was like man nobody wronged me i was just- yeah, i was worried something happened in like the small space between i was just playing it chill man yeah, You're chill, <laughs> chill and helpful. Just want to give everybody space to communicate and talk, and you know, I have a, I feel I have a chill update. Let's do it. Y'all persuaded me. I, you 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 made me come into the fold. You're doing I'm the streaming. marathon. I'm streaming. No, he's Fuck streaming. Cat. I'm streaming. Uh, You're a streamer. I, I got my tell. stream set. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite s- stream flavor so far? So here's the thing. I haven't uh, got any of the syrup yet for it. So I've been. <laughs> I've been carbonating juices and having a great time. I did some carbonated orange juice the other day, did some cranberry raspberry yesterday. This is great. I'm having a great time. Is a carbonated orange juice essentially just an orange Julius? Uh, Yeah, it is. It was sort of unnerving. It's a little (laughs) bit slightly different of a taste, but yeah, it's a very similar. That's a great comparable. It feels very fancy, too. Yeah, we, we could open up our own mall store. Yeah, we, we could just, like sell carbonated juices to people or they bring their own juice and we, and just we carbonate, carbonate it. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a it's like a BYOJC kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Be, bring your own juice to carbonate. This is fucking that's the name of our store. B- BYJ. BYOJ. <laughs> did we did we talk about for Unifarm? I know, Jeff, you were talking about the key that you shove in a that you wrap toothpaste tubes around and squeeze it all out. Oh, did we yeah. talk about Unifarm making one of those? No. No. Because that could Why? go pretty well with the bread clip. <laughs> you think so? I don't know how to improve upon it. It's already a perfect tool. Well, yeah, that's the that's the problem. It's like Unifarm Unifarm's not just about logo slapping. Uniform's about no, like innovation. It's innovation. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm I think we can innovate. I'm gonna get in the lab. I'll tell you that right now. You've challenged me to get in the lab and see how we can <laughs> innovate how we can innovate uh toothpaste. And as Nick says, uh based on our previous stuff, slap a magnet on it. <laughs> slap a magnet. I have a question for you guys about the streaming because you're, you're ahead of me of the curve. Uh, currently, I have um, all of the like bottles for it, the, 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 the compressed whatever carbonation uh, just in my room. Where should I store this? Where should I store the CO2 type things? Huh? The, like the, <laughs> like the, the CO2 canister? canister? Yeah, the canister. How many do you put have? In it, the carbon. So that's the thing. I bought two. They, they sent me four. I have four of them oh. currently. Uh, And they're just all around my room. And as somebody who plays a lot of first person shooters, I feel like I'm in an explosive (laughs) war zone right now. (laughs) Any time, like when I see one, my brain just immediately goes, someone's going to shoot that fire is going to shoot out the side. Then it's going to blow up. Are they red? No, they're white. Well, then I think you're probably fine. Yeah, they're fine. fine? Okay. Yeah, they're only they're only flammable if they're red. Yeah, only red barrels and canisters explode. Uh, I would put them in your closet so you don't have to look at them anymore. But, you, you know. I yeah I don't know I don't st- I only have one and it's the one that's in the the soda stream and then when I when it goes empty I just go to Target and buy a new one. A white canister can explode. I mean, have you ever shot a, a white barrel in a video game and had it explode? Propane tanks. Mm. Do propane tanks not explode if you shoot them? Oh, like Left for Dead. Mm. Yeah, they'll, they'll uh, fire. They'll zoom off. Right? Good point. 
Yeah. yeah, be really careful around it then. What's a non what's the most non exploding color? Would you say blue? Um blue I think is is like butane though. A lot uh, of the time. Oh it is? What about green? Does green explode? I don't think green explodes. Paint them green. Okay. Also, I don't think fire would shoot out. I think you you, you have the opposite problem. Oh, oh really? Well, like it would freeze. Oh. Green is like noxious gas. Yeah, the old, that, mm-hmm. you'll die. Can't do that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the room would get all green. <sighs> Poison Maybe air. Maybe yellow. Oh, yellow. Yellow. I got a lot of canisters because I also I bought compressed air because I noticed when I was playing trucks, my Xbox sounded like it was gonna die, and I thought this could either be a trucks issue or something's going on my Xbox. In every game, it did the same thing. So I, I read that it's uh, probably a dust problem. Let me tell you, if you haven't compressed air your xbox i'd highly recommend it Mm. i could not believe the amount of dust that (laughs) shot everywhere i would say it was more it was like a tomb it was like we went into a tomb and opened something that had been buried for like millions of years it it was you feel like brendan fraser i did yeah and i it kind of was like in um chernobyl you know (laughs) when it's all 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 the uh, all the atomic ash coming down and they think it's snow. <laughs> it was like that out of my Xbox. What uh, what kind of Xbox do you have? Xbox Series X. So like the big... The big, the like little fridge. The, the fridge one. one. Yeah. yeah. That's the one I have too. And so it was, oh, it was getting loud and then you compressed air and now it's fine? Yeah, it sounded like it was like a snow plow or like a heavy truck outside of where I live every time I tried to play any game. I'm Xbox. I, w- I was wondering why you had compressed air when you were unboxing your cock last week. Yeah, it was it was because I cleaned out my Xbox with it, and uh, I would highly recommend it. So uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I should try that. I, uh, yeah, I may or may not have just bought a air. whole new Xbox Series X because uh, my Xbox is overheating. <laughs> <laughs> no i wonder if i could have just blown it out <laughs> god damn well why it. don't you try why don't you try blowing it out it here's what happened to my xbox one x here's why i think it might be different emily always puts up like you know 40 billion christmas decorations and so the xbox is on on the i don't know on the console in front of the tv uh-huh. and it always gets covered like covered in holly and candles and all that shit and at Christmas this year, for the first time ever, my Xbox started overheating. And it'll just like <laughs> shut a game down and be like, it's, the Xbox is running too hot to play this game right now. Reboot it and cool it down and try again. And then so I made her take all, the, all that shit off. And then I stood it up because it had been laying down. And it worked okay for a little while. But then it just started overheating in any game I play. Like I couldn't play more than two minutes on Power <laughs> World and it would just turn my Xbox off. <laughs> so I just fucking went out and bought a new one. But now I'm going to buy some canned air and see yeah, if I can get return the new one. Get some canned air. Yeah. And if you can't, give it to Eric or Nick because we, we're trying it. We're slowly. <laughs> I can do that. We're building well, Let's Play. I mean, I probably should give it to Millie. But yeah. I, uh, oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I she's mean, yeah. slightly. She's above you guys in the, in the hand me down yeah. thing. Understandable. How but often can, do you vacuum your room, Andrew? Uh, not, uh, maybe like, I don't know, once a month, maybe. Oh, it's not as bad as that. not a lot. No, not at all. (laughs) Yeah. I was trying to come up with a number that sounded reasonable, but. (laughs) Oh, so you're just making it up? (laughs) Yeah, I just threw that number out there. Uh, it's probably been, uh, five months, six months since the last time I did it. Well, that could be your problem. (laughs) Yeah. Well. Every time you. Set, set one foot step you'd kick it up all the dust in the room and it's getting sucked in by your xbox yeah well it's, it definitely it felt like there was 20 years worth of dust in this xbox so and obviously with you stepping in swiffer wet jet boxes that's really gonna yeah. kick up the most <laughs> it did it launched my foot went into the xbox area so definitely kicked any additional dust into the vent thing but you should Definitely try it, Jeff, because it's a very holy system. There's a lot of holes you could shove that compressed air yeah, nozzle do into, that. and it just flies. If I can save this Xbox, it'd be awesome to give it to Mill. Um, or one of you guys if she doesn't want it. But uh, I, uh, yeah, I think it, I, I justified it to myself because it was like, it was a free Xbox I got through work anyway. So I have totally. never actually bought a Series X. So uh, I figured that ah, I've got enough free use out of this Xbox. I can afford to pay for one. Yeah. But I That's would still. to look at it. I would still like to ha- recoup the other Xbox and have it work again. Good morning, beverage enthusiasts. That's certainly me. 
there are all sorts of beverage enthusiasts. There are some people that like to stream. Some people uh, like like all sorts of different beverages. But here we're talking about Cato's coffees and teas. Kickstart your day with the extraordinary flavor of Cato's coffee or unwind with our soothing selection of teas. There's nothing better than to unwind with some tea, have a stressful day, be able to kick back, have a nice cup of tea. Nothing's better than that. And they're crafted with unwavering passion. Cato's coffee and teas are your perfect companion for every moment. They have premium blends when it comes to their coffee. They're roasted to order to ensure freshness. And they have a rich and bold flavor profile. So you know that there's something delicious waiting for you in that cup. Also, let me tell you about their teas. They have diverse tea blends that are carefully selected with their ingredients. So you know it is delicious, relaxing, have a nice hot cup of tea waiting or cold tea, whatever you feel like. I'm not here to judge. They're aromatic. They have calming flavors. You can just relax as they say. It is the perfect companion for every moment. So use promo code FACE10 for a 10% discount on every order. That is, discover your perfect blend today. So visit Kato'sCoffee.com and use code FACE10 to enjoy 10% off your order. That is, Kato'sCoffee.com and use code FACE10 to enjoy 10% off. Embrace the flavors of Kato's Coffee and teas now. When it comes to having... A comedic duo. I mean, you think of the all-time greats and how important they were. You know, like Key and Peele, uh, Jeff and Gavin. Uh, I mean, just endless combinations. Dave Chappelle and Neil Brennan did some amazing work. But what was so impactful about the relationship is one would set things up, the other would knock it out, and that's the perfect duo. And when it comes to growing your business, that's you and Shopify. <laughs> Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling waffle makers or Koozlers, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify also helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. And sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Well, there's so many things to talk about for why Shopify is great. What I personally love about Shopify is that it's with you regardless of what level of business you're starting. Starting a business, especially like an online store, absolutely terrifying. There's so much stuff to figure out and work through. It can feel overwhelming, but with Shopify as your perfect partner, it makes everything so much easier. It's just an all-around great service if that is a venture that you plan on entering. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S., and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way. Because business that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash face, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash face now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Let me repeat that. That is shopify.com slash face. Shopify.com slash face. Ever tried to break a bad habit and felt like you're climbing Everest in flip-flops? Yeah, we've been there too. But here's a breath of fresh air. Fume is not about giving up. It's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. 
Something I was immediately struck by with the fume is how good it feels. It's it's weighted perfectly. Uh, it's balanced, and it's just extremely fun to fidget with. So if, if it's something that you're just maybe anxious or just want to fidget with something, it's perfect for that. It also looks beautiful. The real wood and the shape of it, it's something that you can feel cool using. It's uh, a, just a beautiful looking looking thing. Plus, Fumes just released a magnetic stand for your fume, so there's no more losing it around the house. It's built with fidgeting in mind. You can spin your fume around on it. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash face and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners to the show 10% off when they use my code face to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Start the good habit at tryfume.com slash face to save 10% off the journey pack today. Do you want to hear a, a, a disturbing discovery I made recently? Yeah. Please. What do you know about blimps? Uh, they're uh, incredibly dangerous. Yeah, they explode. They were supposed to be the future of travel, right? At one point. Yeah. Do you know how many blimps there are? Uh, in the world? Yeah. Well, we got the Goodyear blimp. I'm going to say three. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say one. I think it's just the Goodyear <laughs> you think blimp. There's one point. blimp. I think it's no, there's just gotta the be a Goodyear backup blimp. blimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say three. Oh, okay. Well, maybe my fact is, it wouldn't be <laughs> very mind blowing to you. There's 25. Huh. That's, <laughs> yeah, that sounds that's right. a lot. Yeah. That's <laughs> you think that's a lot? I, th I think that's such a low amount. <laughs> No, I mean, well, I, I picked three because I could tell where you were going with this. But yeah. yeah, it does seem like, I mean, they're not practical in any way, right? No. I thought they were just above every, like, sporting event. There's That's only what 25. I was <laughs> That's like, why are we using them at football games? If there's only 25, we should be using them very sparingly yeah. for whatever their intended purpose is. Football games. That means all <laughs> blimps are limited edition. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like I've never seen a blimp. So it just oh. didn't feel like a thing that was in circulation. I feel like blimping is a dead technology. Yeah. Oh, well, it definitely is. <laughs> they got to the GTA online, travel. though. We used to fuck it's with true. blimps in GTA online. I've shot that blimp down more times than there are actually blimps. <laughs> 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 well, you think about it, like, is there a blimp company? Like, yeah, that's a great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, one company owns like all the main blimps, like the Goodyear and the Direct TV, and it, it's all one company. Oh. How much does it cost to buy a blimp? That's what I'm wondering. Or are you basically leasing the blimp out from that company? You got to make sure that you get your loan from the bank and not at the blimp dealership. Is the move because they'll they'll jack your interest. <laughs> Dude, you this. know what I'm thinking here? The Uniform Blimp. Yeah, blimping is old technology, right? They had that shit. That's what the Hindenburg was. Like, that shit's been around for 100 years. Clearly not hard. You just need fabric and air. So what if we started a competing blimp company, and then we just undercut their prices by 10%? <laughs> Instantly, we're fucking, we're blimp rich. What do you think will be cheaper, doing that or just buying the shittiest blimp? Like, the 25th most sought-after blimp? Yeah, but they, but if they own it, they own the means. <laughs> oh, of, they're going to fucking overcharge you. How much? How much? Can, how much is it? <laughs> Don't know. Let me look up blimp for sale. <laughs> Would you rather take one of those submarines down the the Titanic or ride in the shittiest blimp? I would ride the blimp. If you know, worst comes to worst, I dive out the window and parachute to safety. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Well, it's, be it's a better escape plan than being a mile below the surface of the ocean. Why are you going to do that? Yeah, but I, I clearly in the hypothetical, the, <laughs> the, the question wasn't phrased in the scenario in which the, you have a parachute and are able to jump out. It's just uh, trapped vehicles. Oh, what boy. Would uh, I don't know if I boy. trust them. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, boy. So we can buy a blimp, and they're not that expensive. <gasps> oh. They're what smaller. We're, t we're talking about Airship Solutions, who sells the world's smallest blimps. Uh, you can get hmm. the indoor-outdoor model for $7,000. It's the E13 blimp with the indoor and outdoor gondola. Fins oh. with a choice color uh, of 40 to choose from for both indoor and outdoor. It's got a hull with three standard colors or a combination of three standard colors. Any PMS can be matched for non-standard at a cost. Uh, ACDC di digital battery charger, hull repair hmm. kit. These Fins. are tiny little handheld blimps. They're, they're, little, they're, the they're still, but they're as big as a person. You gotta no, start you gotta somewhere. Be to, yeah. You gotta be able to drive the blimp from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You gotta start so you want the, somewhere. The cheapest you take, <laughs> inner blimp. We take we roll up to fucking local sporting events. We start we start <laughs> blimping around at halftime. Take all the money we have, put it into R and D, and we make a bigger blimp. And then we go to we tackle bigger clients, and we keep working our way up until suddenly we've got a fucking we've got like the world's biggest. Blimp. <laughs> We'd need a pair of binoculars on every seat for this blimp to <laughs> It's not that small. There's a picture of it at a fucking sporting event. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> okay. Are these like the, the ones that would drop stuff? That's not you that can... yeah. small. Yeah, they're they're pretty small. <laughs> pretty they drop small. like shirts and stuff as they fly it's around. Gotta be, it's gotta be 10 feet long at least. I don't know about that. You gotta start somewhere. That Does is it just true. say imagine this but bigger on the side for us? Like what is Look, what is Andrew, how big like, like there it is right there next to two? That's dudes. pretty big. That's clearly bigger than those dudes. What that if on the side big. we just write help us buy a bigger blimp? And then there's a QR code and people can <gasps> exactly oh, that's a, donate that's to the idea. blimp fund. The International Blimp Fund. Make this blimp bigger. So wait, hang on. So in order to get the blimp going, you said we need all these binoculars for people to see our tiny blimp, but you want to put a QR code on the side so everyone has to zoom in all the way through binoculars. To, okay. I just think that the initial oh, no, wait. steps there no, are no, 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 no. going to be very no. tough. I can tie this full circle. You yeah. said Uniform is all about innovation. We sell binoculars that can scan QR codes. Mm. There you go. Dude. Andrew, Wi-Fi binoculars. there you go. That's honestly, that's a CES technology that I'm surprised <laughs> isn't a thing already. Uh, Sounds like a... Like a solves your problem. <laughs> Sounds like a knockoff Mr. Beast video where we leave like an unclaimed <laughs> Venmo wallet on a QR code, but put it on a really high up balloon. <laughs> First to scan it gets the money. There's also oh a great. Oh my it's always, god! What do you find? The Swarovski Optic Outdoor app allows you to transfer cell phone and uh, uh, transfer data from your <laughs> from your binoculars to oh, your cell we, phone. We the Live View feature turn the mode selection wheel makes it possible to share the view with up to four other smartphones uh, and use QR codes. It might already exist. Oh. Damn! Shit! I thought I was being innovative. I, mean, I do. There is a great, there's a great "It's Always Sunny" style edit for this episode of Jeff saying Unifarm isn't about just slapping their logo on things and then immediately <laughs> cutting to f face by the blimp. <laughs> 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 Literally the only purpose of the blimp. <laughs> the only thing you can do with a blimp. <laughs> yes, you slap your logo on it. Well, it sounds like we can drop T-shirts from it. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do that too. Did you have you never experienced that in a sporting event, like the little blimp that flies around and drops shit? Except our blimp will drop a bunch of toothpaste keys. Ooh, and bread clips. <laughs> <laughs> and wrist pockets. <laughs> they spend all of their entertainment budget on the blimp, so it's just them dropping bread clips on people as the prizes. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> 25 blimps, huh? Yeah, 25 sort of sizable, drivable blimps is what I've read. But that also could be horseshit because it was on Wikipedia. <laughs> no, I, I believe it. I got a whole podcast based off Wikipedia. Don't start talking shit about Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. I, um, I thought I would tune into something over the last week. Something that I've heard about a few times but never watched. Uh -oh. it, was, yeah. uh, it was Eric doing the, the wrestling commentary. Oh. oh, it's great, isn't it? I... I went into it not not knowing how Eric was going to approach it. Like, is he going to be softly spoken and, and technical? <laughs> uh, I tuned what? in. That, that's that's an what? insane. That's an insane that, way to think I would approach anything. But thank you. That is. That's also Kevin has never seen wrestling. Like, what are you? <laughs> well, I know there's always like a screaming guy, but I, I think I guess when I watched WWF, it was like two yeah. screaming guys. But yes. I, yeah, I just I'd never heard it, so I was just I didn't really know what to expect. I I tuned in on Twitch and. Was met with some guy like <laughs> pelvic thrusting another guy in the ass. Oh. And, and then Eric go, I just hear Eric go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a cast of characters and everyone has their different psychology <laughs> in the way they approach their matches. And so what Gavin tuned into was the most animated I've ever seen you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. It's great doing all of the uh, pro wrestling stuff because all these, some of these guys, their goal is to be like 
you know, like where I'm going to get on TV and I want to do this as a career. And then there are mm -hmm. other people that are like weekend warriors about it. And the weekend warrior <laughs> guys are the best ones. Yeah. I feel like I saw some stuff that couldn't be on TV. Oh yeah. 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 Did you, that's did why you get taken to pound town? Did you see a oh. pound town? No, he has not oh, seen the mayor of pound town yet. He's Damn. that's maybe my favorite guy. He is what a funny comedy guy just to do just to get beat up. He goes in and he tells people, I'm going to take you to pound town. And then he just gets punched or thrown over the top rope. It's perfect. It's perfect every time. It's great. But Gavin, I can't like you tuned in and uh, I got a text from you in the middle of it. And I went, Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I could I was just a screenshot. And I just it. wrote, I feel like I'm watching a hate crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... Do you just do the commentary from home? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, I can go there. The, yeah, I go to the arena. We have like a little setup. The uh, oh. the producer that put it together did a really great job. He has like a like an ATEM multicam setup, and Whoa. it's like wow. a whole thing. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, and it's like it's on zero dollars, so it's a lot of fun. And uh, we do it like every Saturday. It's always a great time. I really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, people thank should you definitely watch in. it. Yeah, They're great. it's great. In. Every time I've Ofi watched official it, had a great time. AAPW is where you can find us all over the place. Cool. You want to do it, Gavin? You want to get in there? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want? I'll, I'll, I'll film some slow mo though. Yeah, you want to oh. film some slow mo of like Dan, maybe Dan getting thrown around or somebody doing something? Yeah, why not? Okay. I have a, I had a really weird thought pop into my head that I just remembered, Gavin, last night that I wanted to ask you. This is a very strange question, but it was making me laugh. This is, this is, this is I was having a great time. <laughs> have you ever filmed like an elderly, an elderly man sprinting at you naked in slow motion? <laughs> No. Uh, yeah. Why, yeah, have why? you ever filmed that, dude? <laughs> no. You know what? No, I haven't. Because I think it would be really funny. I think that'd be a really great slow mo. Why? I just feel like because the skin is kind of loose and you don't really see people of a certain age sprint anymore. I just think there's a lot of <laughs> flopping that's going to happen. And I think it would be really funny. It's so simple, but I just I'd love to see a naked old dude sprinting towards the camera at you from a distance. A, who's going to want to be filmed that way? And B, where are we going to put that? A, nudists. B, great question. But that's we'll figure that out later. <laughs> The biggest problem is getting the old guy, but I don't think that's hard. I'm sure that's we not going to be hard at Austin. all, dude. Yeah, Actually, yeah. Like a old. naked old guy. That's the easiest part. You can't tell me it doesn't crack you up just imagining all the seeing it in slow motion, all the, the, the bops and the things bouncing around. And See, I've been in this situation before, though. It's like you, the idea of it's funny and it's great. And it's like, oh, I'm so excited to do that. And then you're watching back the footage and you're just like, oh. No, I don't think I think you would be laughing so hard as if they were into it, if they got the spirit of it. I think that's hilarious. Uh, I think I think you should direct this piece. I yeah, I, I would. I mean, it's easy. I don't think I think Jeff could even direct this piece. I, I think he gets what the fuck is that? Mean? How, how, did, bad how did that what? happen? Oh, how did Jeff get what happened? Jeff gets hit by the strayest <laughs> bulls somehow. No, Jesus I just meant that the, 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 next to Gavin. I'm probably the, I gotta be the best director in this group. What the hell? <laughs> that's no, I this is what I meant by that. It feels to me like this would be a very jackass thing, and I think you completely understand the spirit of something that is jackass like. I think yeah, you'd be absolutely the capable of dumbest, shittiest motherfucker I know could do it, probably. <laughs> is I love it was Gavin going, Andrew, I'm gonna make you watch this, and Andrew going, Yeah, Jeff should have to watch this. <laughs> yeah. Also, Gavin, didn't you tell me once that you filmed for a commercial uh, like Sienna Miller or some famous actress run or like a music video running naked. And you said seeing anybody run naked in slow motion was one of the most disturbing things you'd ever seen. Uh, it's not flattering. The, the Sienna Miller thing was uh, that was a different thing. That was when I've never been booed so much in my entire life. But <laughs> what? <laughs> we we're filming some music video and she was in like a gown, like hospital overalls and uh, did like a little lunge over some gurneys or something. But that was just like a, a hell of a view up her, up her gown, and we we're all watching <laughs> it. We we're all watching it slowed down, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be pretty bad for her because all these just dudes on set." So I skipped it ahead past that bit, and everyone <laughs> yelled at me. <laughs> you did the right thing. It sounds like you definitely did the right thing. Yeah. Oh, of course I did the right thing, but it was it was a you know a room full of 
50 year old blokes who almost saw <laughs> Sienna Miller's growler. So they were really, really pissed off. And when was this? Oh, like 15 years ago, maybe. See, now one of those guys can be our naked old man sprinting at the camera. <laughs> All I took away from that story when you told me 15 years ago was that even the hottest people on earth are ugly when they run. And I was like, I just remember that. Nah, she was she looked great. Yeah. But she wasn't naked. She was wearing a gown. Mm. I'm just saying, I just think about it. I'm not, listen, you do, you control the Slow Mo Guys channel however you want, but it's just something to consider. Yeah, if you say it's educational, you can put it up on YouTube with nudity. <laughs> That's true. What, so he should write some like algebra on his chest or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking the flops. As I was snickering to myself, just how floppy everything would be. Because they have to be kind of out of shape, too. A kind of out of shape 70-year-old man sprinting with intent right at the camera. Would you do it when you're 70? What? <laughs> like, if you were 70, would you go for it? Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely, I would. Mark it down. Yeah, okay. Sure, I'll sign up for this. We'll revisit this in 40 years yeah. or whatever. Uh, yeah, like four, yeah, 40 years. Put in your calendar, Gavin. 20... <laughs> 64? Oh, Jeez. And I don't, I don't want to tip anything off here, but you might want to be a first member for that one. That's going to be on the page. <laughs> Get your subscription now. Mark <laughs> that subscription now because in 40 yeah. years you're going to yeah. want to be oh. ready. We're bringing the content. Jesus Christ. It would be fun to set up a video like that that time releases in 40 years and it's like that's kind of like how was it like mark twain when he died had it wrote an autobiography but it said it couldn't be released until after 100 years after he was dead or something uh i think i think something similar happened to jd salinger where he wrote like an additional three or four novels and then said that they could only be released after he died that'd be funny if we made a video and then just set the time release as far as possible out and just like 30 years from now it just clicks on that's what made me come up with that thought, and you saying that made me remember. It was because Robert Rodriguez made a alcohol short documentary with John Malkovich that isn't supposed to come out until like twenty seventy something. Oh, and really? Like it's just yeah, it's slated, and it's like essentially the idea being like everybody's going to be dead by the time that that worked on this by the time it releases. And I just, in my head, I could see John Malkovich doing some creepy, weird shit that you don't expect. Like, everyone's waiting for this film, and then it just turned out to be John Malkovich goatseeing for 30 <laughs> seconds laughing at you that people are, are waiting for out of this vault. Just that John Malkovich admitting to, like, multiple murders across the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the jinx. <laughs> <laughs> He's just burping and admitting to killing people. <laughs> we thought it was a truck driver. It was John Malkovich the whole time. He was the smiley face killer. <laughs> what was that with the burping? He just fucking, it was involuntary. Just like a fucking guilty tick, I think. Now he's dead. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a clip. Oh, no. what's your clip? It's from episode 191. Okay. okay. One of the ad reads. Uh -oh. oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Uh -oh. what? Eat my what? dick. <laughs> Respectfully. You go do an ad Whoa. read. I'm going to have to put my therapy hat back on. This thing's going to get a little spicy. Why don't you do the ads this week, Gavin? And here we go. Great programs for, and it's really easy to, to pick up. The other thing that they do, which is so awesome, is they provide pronunciation checks. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I knew. That's why I came out aggressive. That was that was <laughs> <laughs> That was so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude, come oh, on. God oh, God damn. Did you Ooh. know you did that in the moment and then thought, ah, fuck it, nobody will notice? Or did you find uh, out? Later? It was a thing where I was, if I'm going to be completely honest, I was Please in do. the midst of a payday heist while recording that ad read. <laughs> and uh, Wait, I, what? I fumbled what it. I was uh, I was trying to pick <laughs> safety deposit boxes, and I fumbled it. And I wait, went, wait, wait. Wait, wait, was this during our payday heist? 
No, I was. I played oh, some God. payday by myself later. We would have heard people. him if it was all. That's what I thought too. Yeah. I was trying to think. I'm like, was there any point where Andrew was muted for like a long time when Maybe we recorded how payday? He should do all of his. Andrew, you should do all your ad reads. Next one should be in the middle of the final circle of Warzone. <laughs> okay. Oh, how many? How many? Uh, how many players is payday three? Four. It's four cool. players. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we, we talked about it last time. We had like a lot of fun when we played Payday. Those videos will come out eventually. We had a lot of fun. And then we talked about, you know, if there's a world where, you know, we have our four, but then maybe people get swapped in and out for uh I don't know about lowest performing member of the group or <laughs> uh people that blow it. Uh, so you're ref- you know. so what we're saying is there is a there's a, f- a group of four for payday which I'm yeah. not in I, I understand mm-hmm. I didn't make that recording so that's fine mm-hmm. that's fair to me there's always different groups right uh, that's how this kind of works but there's there's a group of four for payday however there's a potential system in play where mm-hmm. the lowest performing member gets relegated for a video and replaced. Just say I, just, just a potential. And Eric, who do you think could have been chucked? Oh boy, <laughs> mm. it's a, you know you know honestly, I'm gonna <laughs> leave it to to the videos to come out. You guys let us know when the payday videos come out. <laughs> who leave a comment? Let us know who you think would be relegated uh, of the group of four. I'm very <laughs> curious to see what the chat says. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to find out. I uh, I think that could even work. Outside of, because we're just sort of going through like we do a heist onto the next one. I think it'd be a lot of fun for us to try to perfect every heist and maybe like while we're doing those runs, factor in who fails the most and then whoever fails the most is cut from the crew for the next site because you wouldn't bring that guy back if this is a real heist group. And they have to do the ad read. That's true. Yeah, so, and they have yeah, to do the ad read. <laughs> I will say Payday 2 was a great game and we got a lot of really good content out of it for Achievement Hunter. So I, I think it probably stands to reason that 3 would would warrant a few videos as well. Especially if you guys are having fun playing it. Oh, it's so much fun. I can't believe how much fun I had. I cannot believe how much fun I had playing that game. I feel like we have too much to play. Like I really, really, really want to play Pal World. I think there'd be a couple of videos. I think trucks could be, just based on the audience alone, I think trucks could be endless videos yeah. it feels I like. think to be honest we're still well it's, I, I feel like I am in the mindset that's similar to the old style let's play where we would just record all the time and stuff would come out all the time it's taken me a lot it's taken me a lot to get used to the the cadence of recording less often and putting less out how do you mean because I think I agree with you I guess I was just used to doing it every day and videos would come out every day yeah it does you definitely get used to the pace and like when we were in that treadmill and uh it definitely feels weird to go like half speed again if we want to add another let's play recording day to the calendar I, i'm all for it i'm not complaining and i don't and i'm not advocating for that and i don't say i mind it i'm just saying that i agree with gavin it is weird to be doing it again and be doing it at such a slower pace i guess would be the way to put it yeah uh, not good or bad i just it's just interesting it definitely feels like there was like I don't know. Just a different vibe. A whole different world. Yeah, because I feel like I go weeks where I feel like we should make a video and then we we just don't get around to it. There's just so much to play. Yeah. We, before like Let's Play even really started, I had a an evening where I went, oh fuck, like what are we, what are the video ideas going to be? Like, <laughs> do we have enough for a year? And I wrote out like 60 just video ideas and I don't think we've done more than five of what I wrote at that time. I would never worry about running out of video game ideas. No. I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. Yeah. Maybe maybe running out of good ideas, but definitely not ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that happened long ago. That's fine. We're, we've already dealt with that problem. Um, yeah, I think it would be great, as long as you guys are open to it, because it's like, for me, so much of it is making sure it doesn't become a burden to do. Because right now, it's so much fun. As long as I don't have to invent and build a game in Minecraft (laughs) and then force four to six assholes who are constantly (laughs) trying to undermine the point of the video and the competition and run them through it. As long as I don't have to do that, I'm fine. I'll do any of it. Well, I'm so excited for what we've been doing in that field. And as soon as we finish, like, it's always like, oh, I want to do more, which is the perfect feeling. It is the best feeling to end on. Yeah. I think we could increase slightly because I'm definitely not anywhere near the point where it's like, oh, man, too much, too much. Yeah, like maybe 
one more day that is not like like maybe a 45 minute type window to just do like one more video i think would be great yeah, yeah it, i agree because it's like i want to do cause selfishly i want to do trucks constantly like right i'd like to do trucks every week <laughs> and i think that the audience would like that based on what i'm reading uh but to do trucks every week really cuts down on what else we can do yeah you know? it's weird we're so just it's trucks, like it feels so. weird it's basically become the truck channel so, yeah i feel like there's not a lot of experimentation time either yeah like I like I'd be excited to do the uh, uh, blowing people off parachutes with bomb drones. Yeah, but that's oh, yeah. that's not something I was thinking about that last night. In like forty minutes, we'd need to actually put some work into that. Be prepared to you know spend maybe like ninety to two hours trying to get it. But I don't know. It's it's tough with our current slot. It is, but well, it sounds like maybe we'll we'll look at after this recording, figure something out for that. Because that'd be awesome. Any excuse to spend more time playing games with everyone here, yeah, I'm all for. Okay. Let's figure it out. I uh, can I tell you something really dumb if we're talking about uh, uh, pronunciations of uh, <laughs> <laughs> issues? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something I didn't share with you guys, and this has been something that happened a while ago. And I, I realized to understand the distance of time, it was probably like three or four weeks where I thought this. We had a uh, for the merch meeting uh, near the end of the year in December. We had like end of year merch meeting where we evaluated like the sales of everything and, and how stuff is doing and all that stuff and looking at numbers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I completely misinterpreted what a specific <laughs> word meant. And uh, it, it completely shifted my perspective of how things were going for us. There is a section titled returns. And that is that section is items that have been returned and the cost of returning those items. Whatever yes. return was stated, mm -hmm. I thought that was the profit return of whatever those items were. So literally, because the returns are always in the negative, and I, I had I thought for weeks <laughs> of like, wait, we didn't, we're negative in everything. Every single thing is negative. How is this <laughs> happening? How are the Gerplers negative? That I is, felt really dumb. That three is three weeks an later. Exceptionally dumb way to look at it. It was. <laughs> <laughs> One of the all-time dumb moments for me is realizing when I was looking at the sheet later, oh, this is their product returns, not not actual return. <laughs> and was it like you you didn't know you didn't know? So it's not like you could you could have thought to ask. I thought <laughs> face was shutting down in the next week. <laughs> was my, my walk away. <laughs> I was like, if this is if if everything if the things that are selling out immediately and have a lot of enthusiasm for we're losing money still on what this is um, this is over and I'm very sad about this. I, I I used to struggle a lot especially at school where I would freak out on the spot if I didn't understand something and I would just not ask and I would I would feel like too much time has passed and then I would have to try and figure out what yes. the the teacher yes. meant like I remember I was doing I had to do like a a newspaper or it was like a magazine cover I had to like design that for media. And uh, I had the picture there and then I was like showing the teacher at the end and uh, she was like, yeah, that, that's, gr that's great. Uh, that's great framing. Um, uh, obviously it needs the copy. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Of course it needs the copy. And then I just walked away. I was like, what is she talking about? And I couldn't, <laughs> I didn't know how to Google it either. Cause it was like, well, I don't know if Google was about, but I couldn't, I couldn't even figure out how to search it online. Cause it would just bring up other mentions of copy. And I couldn't figure out that she meant the text. But I sat there, I probably wasted two whole lessons trying to figure out what she was talking about. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. Now I just ask the question straight to your face. Yeah, that's, that's the better way to be. For sure. This is fun. What's this picture doing? Oh, uh, that's nothing important. I just, uh, Emily sent that to me. She was looking through the wedding photos and it was just a photo of me, Eric, and uh, Gavin at the wedding. That's I a rare was... picture of Eric and his invisible wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my arms, my arms around her... And we're all laughing and having fun, but Jeff is concerned about her. So well, I'm just, I'm like, what? what? I'm glad uh, it was clarified that it's the invisible. I thought it was Eric going like, and the rat was this big. <laughs> and Gavin thinks that's great. And Jeff is like, rats really shouldn't be that big. I don't know. Yeah, that's is a big that rat. The, that's the size of a small blimp. Is <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw a logo on that rat. <laughs> do you think that's the closest your hand has been to my penis yet <laughs> um, almost yeah, certainly you know what? not like uh, passing uh, no, by you know what I'll say yet yeah yeah, yeah we'll <laughs> give it we'll see if we can get a little bit closer next time not me <laughs> no definitely <laughs> yeah, I bet, not I've, I been, bet not I've been all over that thing 
Uh, I mean, you, you flicked my penis to the point where you've been closer <laughs> to my penis than my penis was. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because oh, you've like boy. dislodged it. Oh yeah. my God. That's true. Oh man. Um, hey, hey, you know what though? It's fucking friendship, man. Yeah. That's what we do. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm here for your penis. You're here for mine. Oh, Forever. <laughs> Is, is this what a couple of dudes? The bond, it's the bond of friendship. I feel like you've touched mine more, but I've seen yours more. Jesus. You've definitely this, seen mine more. This is such a weird way to go out on this one, guys. This well, is it's really a pretty something. weird way to come in, to be honest. <laughs> 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 oh man, my no- I'm so glad today <laughs> went well. My notes, <laughs> my notes for this fucking episode are. Uh, do you ever mix cereal? That was the only note I had. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, we're getting... Guys, this might be one of the last ten episodes of this show. <laughs> oh, no, the returns were real. The returns oh, on this episode are going to be... Oh, no. Brother. <laughs> no, I was going to ask because I, I, all I had was a little bit of checks and a little bit of Fruity Pebbles, and I was like, I want fucking cereal. So I mixed them together, and it was great. And I started thinking, we should combine cereals more because this is an awesome, unexpected combination, checks and Fruity Pebbles. So I just have to experiment with that. That was my, that was my insight today. If you, if you could send an item back through time to you as a kid, what item would blow your dick off the most? <laughs> Loaded gun. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, I mean that might be uh, it, huh? <laughs> Slightly too hot much dog of a, cannon. Too much of a blow. <laughs> uh I was thinking about this the other day, actually. I was thinking about doing a solo ride on it. Uh sometimes when I drive around, I was on my way to meet Eric. We were doing a, a special recording. And sometimes when I'm driving around, I like to pretend it's like the 1950s and I'm seeing everything around me for the first time and what would stand out to me, you know? That's like one step away from having one of those gummy Coke bottles and pretending you're a giant. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess it is. Uh, just try around me like, like, what would stand out to somebody from the 1950s? Because a lot of the streets you'd drive by and you'd be like, oh, I just see houses that look about the same, you know? But Lime Scooters got me. Like, how would I explain Lime Scooters to somebody from the 50s and be like, yeah, it's just a you rent it. And they're like, how do I, who do I rent it from? And you're like, Nobody, you just <laughs> point your phone at it. And they're like, a fucking phone from my house? How does that make sense? And then you got to explain cell phones. And then you got to explain computers and online transactions. And yeah. also this magic thing will turn on without being plugged in anywhere and just start to be operational. And I was thinking, man, that would be a really hard thing to wrap your head around. So I That's guess I'm going to so say- so many steps removed. So many steps removed, right? So I'm going to say it would blow my dick off to see a Lime scooter. I think ju- just handing myself a Nintendo Switch hmm. would- Ooh. Completely severed my penis. Yeah, it's, mm. it's probably about it. Yeah. I mean, that would definitely be like, this is where I wanted the world to go. I can't believe we got there. I, for me, and this is like, once again, video game field, and it doesn't seem amazing, but I, as a kid, played like six hours of Kingdom Hearts, never saved. The system got turned off, and I just never revisited it again. Being able to show how like a modern Xbox works, where I could turn the system back on, and it's just exactly where I paused. And that being the way for like every single player game I played would blow my mind. Dude, quick resume. That, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like quick resume as an idea of like, I don't even have to go through the menu. It's literally where I paused. It's crazy. Yeah. That would blow my mind. That I think conversely, the internet is way more annoying now than it was when I first started using it. The, the internet seemed to make a real turn. It used to like show you exactly what you wanted. And now the internet just shows you what it wants on every mm-hmm. website. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And I, I'm just so <laughs> I'm not interested. Do you remember voice masking, Jeff, on the original Xbox? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I oh I, man, not specifically. No, it's so sad. I was talking to Gavin about it. He had no idea what I was talking about. I didn't. I I realized in my research of it. I remember it being in Halo Two. Like that was a feature for Xbox Live, is that you could have a voice mask and you sounded like a muffled Darth Vader. Like it sounded like shit. But I guess certain original Xbox games had their own different, unique voice masking options to them. And that is something that went away that I would love to see come back. You know what I missed that, that video games had for a little while? I think, the, I think it was the original Xbox when I would play Burnout Paradise. Or not mm. Burnout Paradise, I'm sorry, that'd be a three, that's an Xbox 360 game. But uh, the uh, Burnout 2 or whatever it was, Burnout Re- mm-hmm. Revenge or whatever. You could rip Take a down. CD... 
burn up. Maybe it's takedown. You can rip a CD, oh, yeah, a yeah, music yeah. CD, to your Xbox, and oh. then that or a couple. And then you could go into burnout and you could play the radio station. You could just put your music. And so like yeah. I had this album I that I was listening to all the time from this band Star Market that I used to love. And I would just listen to that while I played burnout. And I remember thinking like, this is, I'm living in the future right now. This is, this is going to change <laughs> how I play video games for the rest of my life. And then I never played another video game that had that again. I don't think ever after that. The 360, I was ripping discs for like audio discs and playing it as music to background instead games I'd play. I'd do that all so the time. So cool. I'd play like Gears of War. It was awesome. I think that the GTA 3 era of GTA games, you could do that on PC. You could just have a folder with your own yeah. radio station. Mm. Yeah, that was, that was playing PC games then. I remember the Xbox music player for the original Xbox. Like that was supposed to be cool, where it's just the track listing and then a light that would like bounce to the the music oh yeah like the, the like visualizer it own, yeah like it was a different built out functionality for playing Do you remember when audio? navigating simple simple menus would be like shwong, shwing, shwing. <laughs> the blade <laughs> lever. it's like you're playing bushido blade <laughs> <laughs> well xbox had like a nuclear reactor thing to it too of like bah, 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 and you're just like i want to put subtitles on like i, I want to i'm just changing a basic setting we don't need to like explode the Xbox to do this. <laughs> you sent me a video of, of the guy testing out the voice filters. And I've got to say, I really rose colored glasses what Xbox Live used to sound like. I, in my oh, head, yeah. it just kind of sounds like Discord, but you hear it no. now and it's like, oh, it's, it's like shit. Nick in the mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awful. Oh. <sighs> what's, another, what's another thing that would blow your dick off? What? No, end this. What are you if talking about? If this podcast about? kept going? Yeah. Yeah. Podcast. Like, end this thing. Oh, yeah, podcast podcasts. would yeah, blow your yeah, dick yeah. off. Yeah. I found podcasts pretty young, though. There, this is AM radio, but you can yeah. listen to it whenever. This is not... You know what blows my dick off about podcasts is the first podcast I listened to was in, like, 2006. The Lost Show had a podcast, and it was, like, uh, Damon yeah. Lindelof and, mm. and Brian, uh, whatever his... The, the other guy. Um, they would do a weekly podcast. And that was my introduction to it. And I just thought it's so wild that of all the things, I don't know who at like ABC thought that was a good idea, but they were ahead of their time as far as like what shows should be doing. I think my first one was the Ricky, Ricky Gervais podcast. And that was just the radio show adapted, yeah. right? Or did they actually do a podcast for No, they basically quit XFM and then started the podcast okay. with, uh, with KP. God damn, I have no idea what the first podcast I ever listened to would have been. Do you think you made a podcast before you listened to one? <laughs> probably, probably, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Yeah, I probably, I mean, I probably listened to some for reference, but I probably was like, this is trash. And then, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I didn't really get into podcasts until the pandemic as a, as a, like a fan, you know? Mm. I guess a little bit before Makes the sense. pandemic. I really around Emily. Emily got me into podcasts. She was, mm. she, that's like her main for, form of entertainment, I'd say. Huh. I still think it'd blow my dick off if I sent me old me a podcast of me, like a <laughs> face podcast, I'm trying to understand what I was doing in the future, who these people are, how that's distributed, who's listening to it, how I got to call. Yeah, why? Face. Why you're doing like a weird therapist <laughs> bit yeah. at the beginning and like how did I like? <laughs> holy shit! Are. I went to college yeah. and I became a therapist. That's awesome. I saw really. <laughs> uh, well, my notes have. Why? Why are we doing this? End this. Just right. end. This is the end. This is I the end of the podcast. A... Well, hold on, we Eric. I'm taking care of it. I guess it's about time to listen to your notes, Gav. What do you have in there? <laughs> guess we'll find out next week. Oh, no. Ooh. 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 Cliffhanger. The premise, not the movie. Like the <laughs> 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 Felt needed. Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. Penton got some support. It's too wide. Do not go to the chiropractor. It's Walmart Gavin. Gavin won't stop. Jeff keeps bleeding. We've got fuzzy new merch. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. Face.